Hey everyone, I want to create a really quick video just going over the new Azure Solutions Architect Expert certification path because they have announced some changes to how we get that certification. As always, if this is useful, please like, subscribe, comment and share and hit that bell icon. Now, if we think about the Azure Solutions Architect certification, this is kind of that end goal for many people is that three star certification. And basically what's happening is the path to get there is changing. Historically, to get the certification, we would take two exams. We would take the AZ303 and we would take the AZ304. And what these get us is that architect expert certification. Now for many people along the way, they would get other certifications. For example, you might take the Azure Administrator certification, the AZ-104, and then you would go and take those. And there was actually quite a lot of overlap between them. So what's happening, they're introducing a new exam. So they're introducing AZ-305. So AZ-305 is gonna be available in beta on the 16th of November. Now remember, if you take it in beta, you don't get the results straight away, but if you pass it, it still counts as just a regular exam. You just have to wait a little bit to get your results. So they're introducing this new exam. So now what's gonna happen is to get that architect expert certification, you're gonna combine that exam with the AZ-104, i.e. the associate administrator exam. So that AZ-104 would give you the Azure Administrator as Associate Certification, so that gets you a certification there. And then once I've got that, I then take AZ-305 to get my Architect Expert. So this is kind of this future path on how we get our Architect Expert Certification. So what's happening with these exams they're actually going to retire. So they're going to retire on the 31st of March, 2022. So if I'm already going down this path, if I've taken this, I'm studying for this, no problem. You have until the end of March to do that. But what I can also do is I could actually combine that AZ-303 so if I'm taking, if I've already maybe passed my AZ-303, I can combine that with the AZ-305 to also get my Architect Expert certification before it retires. Remember this retires on the end of March, basically. So at this precise moment in time, well in a week when this becomes, well not in a week, in a while when this becomes available, you could combine that with AZ-303 to get my architect cert, but this is the future direction. Hey, I get my associate admin certification, and then I take the AZ-305 to get that Azure Solutions Architect Expert certification. If I'm currently on the path of doing the 303 and the 304, great, carry on. You have until the end of March to do that. If maybe I've taken a 303 already, or I'm planning to take it, great, Again, just do that before the 31st of March and then take AZ-305 when it becomes available. So those are my new paths to get to Architect Expert. I like this because there was a lot of overlap between it. So now, hey, go and get your Associate Admin certification and then take one more exam and get your Architect Expert certification. So you have those three paths to basically get to the Azure Architect Expert. Two of them involving 305, or I can kind of stay on that current path until it retires. And a really important note, this does not impact you if you already have your architect certification. If you are already an Azure Solutions architect expert, 
This does not impact you. They're not retiring your current cert and now you have to go and take 305 or you have to go and get associate admin. Nope. If you already have your architect expert, you just maintain it like you do today with that annual assessment. That's all you do. So nothing is changing. If you already have your architect expert, this does not impact you. You do that annual renewal assessment as you already have been. This is only for new people who do not have the architect expert, then yes, they potentially now have a different path if they haven't done all this before this retires in kind of six months time, end of March. So that, that's really it. I mean, that, that's all this is about. The path is changing more in line with, hey, what people are doing, where there is that overlap. Now, get my associate admin, AZ104, or that, who knows, but whatever it is to get the Azure admin certification, and then I take AZ305. Again, available in beta, 16th of November, but I still have time if I'm on this path, or if I wanna combine it before the end of March and then you'll just maintain it using that annual assessment. If you already have it, none of this impacts you. You will just carry on doing your annual assessments as you have been already. So that was it. That's kind of the changes, just wanted to make sure people were aware and not panicking, oh, I'm gonna lose my cert. Nope, if you've got it, nothing changes. You just do that annual assessment as you've already been doing. So until the next video, take care.